Hello guys, my name is Shishi Rege. I'm automation and technology specialist with Balaf, Balaf Inc. And today I'm gonna to talk about the benefits of IO Link as well as describe our network wall that you see here with variety of IO Link devices. Let's start out to the top. These are what we call the IO Link gateway modules or IO Link masters connected via Ethernet IP, Profinet, EtherCAD, whatever your uh, choice of network is, and a power, and these ports talk to different IO link devices that are displayed here. This is just um, a small set of IO link devices. Of course, if you look on iolink.com website, you will see thousands and thousands of devices from Balaf as well as from our part, uh, other manufacturers as well. So to start out here, first we have these IO link IO hubs. What that means is these are active splitters, so you can connect your on-off type devices like photo eyes, uh, inductive proxies, capacitive sensors, or any of those, as well as the valves, individual valves that you want to connect to it. Next to it is our IO-Link safety hub that talks IO-Link safety over uh, ProfiSafe, so ProfiSafe IO hub. Uh, or typically used for uh, communicating with the ProfiSafe PLC via IO Link. Next over is our analog uh, solution. So this is a single channel analog interface device. On one side you have analog sensors connected. The second side goes to the IO Link master. So the 4 to 20 milliamps, 0 to 10 volt RTDs, thermocouples can be all converted and brought into the IO Link architecture. Next to that is our IO Link analog hub which can communicate to up to eight analog devices at once and bring it into a single io link port onto the io link gateway this is a 16-bit device you can do analog current voltage temperature rtds and uh, thermocouples um, next up here is a visualization devices and on top you can see rfid we have variety of rfid options here but there is IO Link RFID uh, and uh, RFID with IO Link port on, on board as well. The visualization devices talk about our smart light. Uh, these are multi purpose tower lights and a multi purpose indicator light used in operator guidance. You can switch the mode to level mode, uh, run light mode, and even a, a stack light mode. Of course, uh, it will go in a demo mode in a, in a minute here. You can change the colors, you can change the intensity, you can use the buzzer or not use the buzzer. Addition to that, these are several of our IO Link and non IO Link devices displayed here. There is a position sensor, uh, BTL, uh, a position sensor, which basically this one is on a network mode. The, the next to it is IO Link, and as you can see, there is a network cable and a power cable needed whenever you have a network drop. With IO Link, only single cable that provides power and data across that whole network. Similarly, the uh, encoder here, uh, magnetic encoder, that also displays the IO Link version. There is a position sensors, and here is a very cool, neat IO Link device we call the inductive coupling solution. What it does is it passes data and power across an air gap. So if I move this out, you can notice the power is lost to this IO hub and that IO hub also powers this uh, IO link valve bank. If I bring it back in, it will start communicating again and then I can bring in the IO as well as the valve connections to it. There is variety of, there is uh, Balaf offers around 65, 70 different versions of the IO link IO hubs. There is a Weld Immune version, there is a SAMS version which is IP69K Washdown Plus. Uh, also has a condition monitoring features built in. There is the IP20 version, typically used in operator stations or small equipment, where there is a single cable going back to the control panel or to the IO, IO link master. There is a M8 version of the IO hubs as well. Uh, IO link based uh, a valve bank connector, so you can interface with a variety of valve banks. There is one shown here, but uh, you can use any of your choice. There is also power supply, IP67 power supply. 
on that IP67 power supply is also IO link port that tells you the data about that power supply uh, for the purposes of predictive maintenance. Of course, you can collect all this data and bring it into a condition monitoring software as well for your predictive maintenance needs. The three great benefits of IO-Link is first, it simplifies communication and connectivity to all the devices. Whether you are using analog, digital, smart devices, use a single type of cable across the board. Second, you can get a lot more data from the IO-Link devices about the health of these devices that could be used for your predictive maintenance purposes. Thirdly, you're getting more and more innovative devices and a more complex IO-Link smart devices that are coming out in the market that allows you to enhance your system beyond the capabilities that we can think of today. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more information, please visit www.valuf.com.